Hi, welcome to another Excel demo. Um, so today what we're going to learn is how to take a macro that you've created and put a button on the actual form so you can run the macro just by clicking a button and without having to go find the macro tab in the ribbon. So last podcast we learned how to record a macro. We created a macro called sort name. In this demo, we're going to take that sort name macro that we created and link it to a button. So what we first need to do is draw a button on the Excel document. I'm going to go to my developer tab and I'm going to go to insert with a little toolbox and click on it and a list of things that I can draw or add to my Excel form shows up. I want to add a button. That's the first um, little button I have here. It looks like a bar. I'm going to click on it and I get a little X. My icon has changed from the big white cross to a little like bullseye. So I'm going to use this and it's going to let me draw a box um, and a button. So then after I let go of the button, um, excuse me, of the mouse, it's going to come let me assign a macro. So I'm going to click on sort name because that's the macro I want assigned to this button. Then I'm going to hit OK. So now I have a button called Button 2 that has my sort name macro assigned to it. I'm going to rename my button just by clicking on it and call it sort A to Z. So in order to demonstrate that this works, I need to first unsort the name. So I'm going to highlight them, go back to data, and sort from Z to A, so they're going the opposite direction. And now, as soon as I click on this sort A to Z button that I've created, they should be sorted with Bill on top and Tommy on the bottom. So let's see what happens. Yes, it worked as predicted. Um, if for some reason I wanted to change the macro that was associated with this button, I'm going to hold Control down and then click on the button so I can get into an editing mode. Um, and right click on it and go to assign macro and here is where I would, could change what macro I wanted associated with this button. So I'm still going to keep it on sort name and hit OK. Um, and that's that. I can sort them the other way and click on my button and they'll be sorted back. So that is how you use a, you can create a button and assign a macro to it.